The fall weather is here. With every day, the color of the leaves changing becomes more prominent. It's overcast, a little bit raining, and it's a lot cooler than it has been. Perfect for indoor activities, which is a good thing for us, because we have a lot of electrical wire to fix. We had an electrician come in and take a look at what we had been doing, and he pointed out a lot of things that we've done wrong and that aren't up to code. Like anything else associated with building your own house, when you find out that you did something wrong, you fix it. We started off going around pulling staples out, consolidating the wire in the center of the stud and restapling it. I believe I mentioned once before that uh, as you're running these, you should mark them to save you some work later on. Well, I didn't mark it. We were getting tired toward the end of the day. Now I've got to trace it out. In addition to tracing wires, we were also running a lot more to complete the walls in the room. It is absolutely amazing how much electrical wire there is in a wall. Looks like I need another one. I had to go grab my Makita. It's a little newer, although, I mean, I beat the heck out of both of them. The DeWalt drill that I've used to build most of the house died that day. In a puff of smoke, it was gone. I've owned that set of DeWalt tools for seven years, and that drill has had an amazing amount of work put on it. Fortunately, I had another drill set, a Makita that I had bought not long after I got the DeWalt, because I wanted to make sure that I had a backup and I wanted to be able to expand outside into a different line of tools and batteries. What are you doing? <laughs> you better watch yourself. Running electrical wire is not glamorous. Going around and rerunning it and fixing it is even less so. But it has to be done. When you're drilling around a lot of wire, you need to take your time. After all the work and effort and expense that goes into getting the wire up, you don't want to punch a hole through it. All good. <laughs> That's okay. close. Okay. Can you take this? Yeah. The amount of wire that we have in this house that we've already run, it didn't happen overnight. And it's not going to be a very quick, easy thing for us to fix. In addition, there's still plenty of wire that needs to be pulled. And plenty of outlet boxes that need to be adjusted. This might work. Putting them in exactly the right position that you want them to be in. Why not? Isn't always easy. Yeah, actually, this one's working. We might have to use this again. When the nail is positioned right next to a stud and there's nowhere to swing a hammer, you have to get a little bit creative. That worked. Huh? All right, I'll take it. That's a win. Thanks. This was just the cutoff from one of these little extra pieces that I put on here to trim that out around yeah. the bottom. Yeah. So, I'll just put okay. the other side off. Well, I gotta keep it. Room after room, you just make your way around, identify what the issues are, and try to figure out how you're going to fix them. We have the electric in here. It looks good there. It looks good there. Um, that box, I think we had have to change that box. Did we change it? It's easy to get builders fatigued, 
especially when you're fixing something that you already did. And when you take a look outside and it's beautiful and you wish that you could be out there instead mm -hmm. of inside, you might wonder why you're doing this. Over the course of this build, there have been many times when we were completely exhausted. You start to get emotionally beat down. Without knowing we were developing a mantra, we would look at each other and say, you're going to live here someday. We took on a lot of things we had never done before when we started this. And we have had a lot of failures, but we've also stacked up a lot of successes. And when you do that, you build confidence in yourself. Yeah, there are a lot of days when you get your butt kicked. But then you dust yourself off, you get up, and you kick a little ass of your own. Well, mountain's beautiful. We're out of uh, out of daylight, certainly. Still got a little work light we can use, but we're gonna go home, get some sleep, come back tomorrow morning and hit it again. We'll see y'all next time. Watch yourself. <laughs>